Good morning and thank you all for being here this morning as we here in the city of Wilmington join thousands of local elected officials and community stakeholders and organizations around the country today in recognizing and celebrating Infrastructure Week. Uh, my name is Darius Brown. I'm Wilmington City Council member representing the 3rd Council District and we're here at the Brandywine Pumping Station here in the 3rd Council District to bring awareness and advocate on the need and necessity of more infrastructure investment at our national level and here locally. Uh, we're here at the public at the Brandywine Pumping Station uh, this afternoon to highlight uh, the investments that the City of Wilmington have made in recent years in our water filtration plant and the necessity for us to continue that work as we consider our infrastructure investment and we some of the experiences we've had over the last year uh, with our roads and the need for more infrastructure investment in our roads, our bridges and highways, but also with the uh, tragedies of yesterday evening, we consider uh, Amtrak and our rail and how important it is for us to make sure that we have infrastructure investment in our rail. Here in the third council district, we are privileged to have the Wilmington Amtrak maintenance shops in the city of Wilmington. And it's important as we look along the Northeast corridor, the NEC corridor for Amtrak, that we look at how we can create high-speed rail maintenance facilities also here in the city of Wilmington through infrastructure investment. And so I'm here today as Wilmington and the state of Delaware's lone representative and member of Building America's Future, which is a national bipartisan organization led by former Governor Ed Rendell, former Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and former Congressman and, Sec and Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood as we work to advocate on behalf of cities and municipalities around the country. I'm so glad that we're here today and I can introduce uh, one of our national partners uh, from the American Society of Civil Engineers, Mr. John Grease Greasehaber. Thank you for being here, John. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak on the importance of infrastructure uh, for uh, Wilmington and Delaware. Every family and business needs infrastructure to thrive, from the road you travel to work, to the pipes that deliver clean drinking water, to the inland waterways and rail that moves from coast to coast. We know that investing in infrastructure is essential to support healthy, vibrant communities. Wilmington recognized the importance of infrastructure to its citizens by constructing containment systems and increasing the capacity of the wastewater treatment facility to, sig to signif significantly reduce combined sewer overflow and reconstruction of the Cool Spring Reservoir. Both of these projects are examples of environmental stewardship and provide for safe, clean water for generations of Wilmingtonians. Our quality of life depends on a strong and su sustainable infrastructure. This became very apparent with the closure of Interstate 495. We take for granted that our roads and bridges are safe and that we receive drinking water every time we open a faucet. It is only when, we, when one of these systems fails that the importance of infrastructure comes to the forefront. It takes foresight and commitment to maintain and grow our infrastructure. While we expect to be sustained by our infrastructure, we are often not willing to bear the cost to preserve or construct new infrastructure. This has come to the forefront with the Highway Trust Fund currently before Congress. The Highway Trust Fund is critical to our nation's infrastructure. This fund is America's federal bank account for transportation and every year shares of states share over $45 billion to repair and modernize their roads, bridges, and transit systems. The Highway Trust Fund is set to expire in less than 18 days on May 31st. Without funding from the Highway Trust Fund, states no longer will be able to fund ongoing con construction projects and these projects may then have to stop. Reauthorization of the trust fund has been delayed year after year with short-term term measures and inadequate funding. Without a long-term solution at adequate funding levels, departments of transportation face uncertainty on both short and long-term projects. There is a lot at stake if we merely continue with the same funding of the past five, 10 years for the next five. It will hurt your personal finances, hurt our, hurt our already aging infrastructure system and do little to be benefit our economy. Delaware's congressional representatives have been at the forefront in demanding a long-term solution. We encourage our legislators to increase our investment so that Congress truly fixes the trust fund 
in a way that allows us to modernize our transportation system. A crumbling infrastructure cannot support a healthy economy and can directly affect public health. During this infrastructure week, we ask you to raise and enjoy a glass of tap water and remember the efforts it took to bring it to you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeff Starkey. I'm the Commissioner of Public Works for the City of Wilmington. I've been at this position for a little over a year. I'm very excited to be at this point, uh, Infrastructure Week. Welcome to our wonderful, one of our wonderful water treatment plants. I often tell people most of the time that you don't realize these assets until they're gone. You don't realize them until you turn on the water and it doesn't happen. You don't realize them until you flush a water closet, and that's the term for a, a toilet, uh, until it, it doesn't work. We have a great staff in this facility that keeps your water running. However, we need to continue to invest in these, these mainly because we have an old infrastructure that must be maintained. We have done and will do, be doing major infrastructure improvements throughout this year and continue to replace and repair water mains and sewer mains throughout the system. Matt will go into in detail on the specifics of some of these projects. Uh, just to mention a few of our projects, we will be doing a, a, a what we call our infrastructure uh, system capping, uh, which will be a major improvement in next year or so. We also have a membrane structure, which we have improved in the last couple of years. And we have one, one of our wonderful projects that we're doing at the wastewater treatment plant, which is our REBF project. And essentially what that does is takes biosolids and dries it out to a, a powder form. And it takes the gases from the plant uh, and then power, they're powered by the, the uh, generators, which then dries the uh, biosolids. So I'll turn it over to, to Matt so he can go a little bit more into the detail uh, in terms of some of our specific projects that we'll be doing. Thank you. And again, welcome to Infrastructure Week. Thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Matt Miller. I'm the Assistant Water Division Director with the City of Wilmington. And as uh, Commissioner Starkey mentioned, we have a lot of exciting projects that we're embarking upon with infrastructure. Um, and I just want to mention the city also has a nationally recognized source water protection program to protect our source water. So all the infrastructure work can build on that success and that investment as well. Um, as the commissioner mentioned, we are standing in the Brandywine pumping station, which is the beginning of the Brandywine complex water treatment facility. At the end of this complex, we have invested um, $18 million in the construction and operation of the one and only uh, membrane filtration plant in the state of Delaware uh, for drinking water. And we're very excited about that technology. Um, the plant provides an improved water quality, increased flexibility in operations, and is a physical barrier to any contaminants that we are trying to eliminate from the water. Um, and as I mentioned, we're already operating that facility now with qu uh, quite a bit of success. We also are uh, beginning this summer going to start a project estimated around a $7 million project to improve our raceway uh, channel that runs along the Brandywine River from the uh, dam that diverts the water to the drinking water treatment plant um, to the pumping station in which we're standing and to the drinking water plant. Um, this raceway needs rehabilitated. Uh, it needs uh, lined and the gates at the head of that facility need to be rebuilt in, in case there is ever a spill or event on the river in which we need to just shut down the water supply to the city. This is all or water supply to the plants and use our alternative supply. These are all great infrastructure projects. Um, we value drinking water and we will continue to do what we can to make sure that we provide clean, safe drinking water to the uh, customers of the city of Wilmington. Thanks. I want to thank John and Commissioner Starkey and Matt for being here today for Infrastructure Week. Uh, to learn more about Building America's Future, uh, you can visit the website bafuture.org, or you can also visit infrastructureweek.com to learn more about what is happening here in the city of Wilmington around infrastructure investment and around our country. Thank you all for being here today.